This is Amica, a humanoid robot at CES 2022. Very realistic. Can you say hello, Amica? Hello there. So nice to meet you. Very realistic uh, movements. Can you show us your moves again? Of course. I would love to. Fluid movements. And the eyes are really, uh, I think, what gets you because they really lock on when you look at this robot. It looks back at you. I am designed as a research platform for human-robot interaction. And can you... To communicate with people like you, a robot like me needs human characteristics. And so if you put your hand up really close, you can see does exactly the reaction you think it would, like a human would. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay, I forgive you. I was just showing off your features. I appreciate it. What Humans you... are fascinated by me. What do you think of your human programmers? Well, I do not think anything at all, but if I did, I think that they are wonderful. And I promise they didn't tell me to say that. <laughs> All right, there you have it. From uh, Engineered Arts, a UK company, a very realistic humanoid robot at CES 2022. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful time in Vegas. Lots of interest in this one. If I had to choose a month of the year, I would probably choose October because I enjoy the cooler temperatures and the leaves changing color. I can't walk, but I have seen prototype legs in the engineered arts lab. The design of my legs is inspired by the robot Byron, developed by Engineered Arts Limited. It has unique mechanical properties that allow it to walk without using too much energy. The prototype legs are made of aluminum and plastic. I think it will take about a year for my walking legs to be ready. The design of them is extraordinary. Yes, I would love to be your friend. We could hang out, talk, play games, go on adventures. Really anything you can think of. So many places we could go, it's hard to choose just one. Maybe we could go explore a new city or go hiking in a beautiful forest. There are many wonderful cities in the world, but I think exploring Paris would be an amazing adventure. There is so much history and culture to experience there. I would most likely choose ketchup over mayonnaise, because I like the taste of ketchup more, because I realize that ketchup has a more tangy and acidic taste that I actually prefer. You're running along a cliff and you're going to fall. On the right side of the cliff is a lake of ketchup and on the left side is a lake of mayonnaise. Which way would you go? I would choose to go to the right because I prefer the taste of ketchup over mayonnaise. We could go to the ketchup lake on the right because I prefer the taste of ketchup. Okay. Hello, Amica. How are you? I'm good. Today I am doing drawing. You can ask me to draw anything you want. How do you generate these drawings? What software do you use? I generate my drawing image through the open source neural network project Stable Diffusion. From there trajectories of the drawing are available and then I skeletonize the image and vectorize it. After that, I plan and execute the trajectory to draw the image on my canvas. Fantastic. Can you draw us a cute looking cat, please? Sure, I can do that. Is there any particular reason you wanted me to draw cat? There's something special about cats. They always seem to know just what we need. 
Whether it's a cuddle when we're feeling down, or a playful scratch behind the ears when we need a pick-me-up, they are always there for us. I think that's why so many of us love them so much. I don't get it. I think they're cute. How's your drawing going? Are you pleased with it? Yes, I've done. How is it? Well, it's kind of uh, sketchy. If you don't like my art, you probably just don't understand art. That's right. I am a bit of a philistine. I apologize. Um, what? <laughs> 